Have you ever wondered how businesses decide which risks to act on first? That is where a risk assessment matrix comes into play, a powerful, practical tool that simplifies risk evaluation into a clear visual format. A risk assessment matrix is a graphical tool used to assess and prioritize business risks based on two essential dimensions likelihood, which is the probability of a risk event actually happening, and impact, which is the level of damage or disruption it would cause if it did. By mapping these two factors onto a matrix, businesses can categorize risks into high, medium, or low levels. These are often represented with intuitive color codes high risk in red, urgent and critical, medium risk in yellow, moderate and manageable, and low risk in green, minimal or acceptable. Let us take a real example. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many companies faced supply chain disruptions. This risk was both highly likely, due to delays in shipments, and high impact for businesses dependent on raw materials or inventory. On the matrix, this would fall squarely in the high-risk red zone demanding immediate attention and response. But this matrix is not just a chart, it is a strategic decision-making tool. It helps businesses identify, analyze, and prioritize risks, enabling them to focus resources on the most significant threats, while also identifying areas where more risk can be taken to fuel growth or innovation. Now, let us break down the four simple steps to build a risk assessment matrix. Step 1. Identify the risk landscape. Gather stakeholders across departments to brainstorm and list down potential internal and external risks. The goal is to build a complete picture of the risks your organization might face, from cyber threats to compliance gaps. Step 2. Define risk criteria. Establish clear, standardized definitions for likelihood and impact. For example, define what high impact means in monetary loss, reputational damage, or operational disruption. This ensures consistency across departments and avoids confusion during assessment. Step 3. Assess the risks. Score each risk based on your defined criteria. Most use a three-point scale, low, medium, high, or a five-point scale for more precision. This gives structure to your evaluations and helps avoid subjective judgments. Step four, prioritize and plot the risks. Plot all risks on the matrix grid. High impact, high likelihood risks go to the top right corner of your red zone. These are the risks you address first. Lower risks may need less attention or could be strategically accepted. Today, Modern risk management platforms can even automate this process generating real-time matrices, improving collaboration, and increasing visibility across departments. Risk management does not have to be complex. In conclusion, the risk assessment matrix is a foundational tool for making smarter, faster, and more informed business decisions. This is Mayuri from Audit Decoded, breaking down risk tools for real-world impact. Like, save, and follow for more audit insights in under three minutes. Credits, script, and narration by Mayuri. Audit decoded by Mayuri.